Jim Meyer. I'm the treasurer here at Emanuel. That probably gives you a clue as to what I want to talk about today. But really, my message about our ministries at Emanuel rather than about our finances. My wife and I, Jean, have been around here for a long time, over 20 years. And I don't think we've seen a time when there have been more blessings provided to Emanuel, when there have been more good things going on around here. We've had improvements in uh, our infrastructure, the parking lot, the lighting, the office improvements, and many others. But more importantly, we have revitalized ministries going on here. Brenna Nunes running a vibrant youth program. Pastor Warren, who's in the pulpit, and he's revitalized our Bible study program. And Marianne Poppin, who runs a peerless music program. The well, thing I want to talk to you about today is what sustains these ministries here at Emmanuel. They were all started with our prayers and with the hope that they would receive the support of our people. And that support comes through our weekly giving, through what comes in through the plate uh, that's passed around during the worship services, and what comes in uh, on online giving. That's what pays their salaries, their benefits, and the program expenses for these great programs. Our people have always responded greatly when there's a need presented to them. And there's a real need here. It's not a need that can be met through a special fundraising program. There's a need for increased weekly giving, for an increase in our commitment to our Lord. So in this spirit uh, of the season, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, let's give thanks for these many wonderful ministries that we have going on here. And let's ask the Holy Spirit to work in our hearts to improve our financial support for these programs through increased giving. St. Paul writes in 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 7, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For as we share abundantly in Christ's sufferings, so through Christ we share abundantly in comfort too. Emmanuel Lutheran cares about its members and those in the community, whether through hospital visits, delivering a meal through our meal ministry, supporting someone one-on-one -on -one through Stephen ministry, or just giving a hug when needed, Emmanuel is there to care and support those in need. Care ministry happens because Emmanuel reaches out, both members and community-wide, to those in need of clothing or food or financial assistance. Care ministry happens because Emmanuel reaches out to those who can't attend church on a regular basis, like those who are homebound or away at college or in the military. Care ministry responds to those who are the smallest, preparing for their baptisms and following them for the first three years of their lives, talking with a young couple preparing to get married, or to those who are living their last days before joining their Lord and Savior. Care ministry provides support to those who are grieving, ministering to the family and friends from the initial notification through the funeral or memorial service, and then with mailings for the first year after the death of a loved one, one-on-one -on -one support, support group options, and personal intervention as necessary. Care ministry happens because we have a dedicated group of women who care for our altar and sanctuary by setting up communion, cleaning and caring for all that happens here in our church. Care ministry is a vibrant and humbling way of serving our Lord, whether it's being in the Word together on Monday mornings in Bible study and fellowship, or visiting with someone out at Emmanuel Cemetery it's following Jesus' example of reaching out to comfort and show compassion to all who desire it. Job says it well in response to the Lord's care. You have granted me steadfast love, and your care has preserved my spirit. Well, it's that time of year again. Thanksgiving's right around the corner, and it's our chance to help feed those who are in need of food. Remember, in the years past, we filled the chancel with canned goods and boxed dry goods. Let's do that again starting next week. Bring your cans, bring your dry goods. Let's fill the chancel. Our goal for the school children is 5,000 items. Let's partner with them as a church and see if we can match what they provide. 
Don't forget, bring in your canned goods and your dry goods every Sunday for the next couple Sundays. God bless your day.